guys hey it's heavy t here i just wanted to throw a shout out to you guys and i don't know if you guys are experiencing this or not um i just came across something that's pretty bizarre and um you guys might want to check i don't know where you guys get your cell phones at i mean ti's are cheap we don't have a lot of money i was getting mine at walmart you know i tried every brand they had um everything got hacked into um what i started noticing though with the smartphones is they started coming with um basically a hard case and casing that was inside of the heart inside of the smartphone so it wasn't easily accessible um, in order to like take it apart and get underneath it and kind of look around in it um, what I found is one of my smartphones the screen shattered and it was shattered for a long time I've been using it um, to get online and stuff like that I used like three different phones um, sometimes you know if they're hacking into one I use another one I'll swap you know cards from one to another basically so I can hide evidence from them and uh, so I do a lot of that swapping around and you know I don't even have any of them hooked up to any uh, mobile networks but they'll show that they're hooked up to mobile networks so somebody's tapping in and paying for my phone to be on a mobile network so that they can hack into it so that's how crazy this thing is with the hacking um, I don't know if you guys are going through something similar to that but what I'm going to point out tonight is going to be something that is is very, very odd. And you guys need to look very closely at your guys' smartphones. And if this is the case and, the, and all of our smartphones are coming like this, you might want to start staying away from your smartphones as much as possible. And I'm going to show you why right now. Okay, so I mentioned that my screen shattered on my smartphone. So... I've been carrying it around. Well, one day I was coming in, I was coming in the front door, you know, I was getting in the front door and I dropped it. I dropped the one with the shattered lens. Well, I got lucky because I thought it was going to, I thought it landed on the shattered side. I was like, oh, it's done. It didn't. It landed on the opposite side of the shattered side. So it landed on the back of it. Well, when it landed on the back of it, some stuff started coming out onto the actual underneath the lens. Okay. And it was this black goo looking kind of liquid stuff. And I was like, that's really strange. You know, what the hell is that? So I basically, I couldn't get on it anymore because I couldn't basically, you know, it wouldn't, it was too much on the screen where I couldn't push, you know, put in my code and stuff. So I was like, it's done, you know, decided to take it apart. Well, I went ahead and I took it apart and I'm going to show you what I found. So first off, I want to show you, this is what I found. This is this liquid stuff. Okay. Now the odd thing about this liquid stuff. Okay. This black goo that's underneath the screen of my phone is when I turn it off, okay, I got my loop out and when I turn the actual screen off, I take the battery out so it has no power whatsoever and I look at it, the black stuff through, through a loop, it actually is circuiting, okay, it has blue, green and red circuit circuitry, there's lighting inside of it guys, it's actually energized by itself with no battery, no power, nothing. So I don't know what this stuff is, okay? And if it's the actual black goo, it's basically used to like bring our neg bring negative consciousness into our awareness. And it just basically brings down your, your vibration level so that you're more, more unaware consciously. And so if that's the factor, they're putting these in all the smartphones, who knows what else they could be using this stuff for? I mean, nobody knows anything about this stuff. It's it's like some people think it's alien, this black goo stuff. So I'm going to see if I can turn it off and see if you guys can actually see it. Because when I turned it off last time, you could see the circuitry a little bit still. And I'm going to see if I can get it close enough so that you guys can actually see it. So I'm going to turn it off now. I don't know if I can even turn it off without having to probably have to take the battery out. Oh, it went off. Wait, maybe not. Let me take the battery out. Hang on just a second, guys. I'm going to pause it for just a sec. But you can see the black goo everywhere. See that? Isn't that weird? So hang on just a sec. Okay, so anyway, I tried. I'm trying to get, like, if I could get some light on it. Um, bear with me one more sec. Okay, so anyway, let's see if I can get close enough so you guys can see. Looking at my screen here. Hang on a second. Oh, shit. I don't know if I can get close enough so you guys can see it. Trying to get focused now. Get really close. I don't think I can do it on this. I don't think I can do it with the smartphone here. Yeah, I, I can't get close enough to it, unfortunately. But to, to actually show you what, what it actually does, that it's actually lighting up 
on underneath there it's like you can see the circuitry on it and it's just it's crazy guys i mean you actually see it it's still it's still like the substance is like it's energetic i mean it has its own circuitry like the lights are blinking on and off the blue lights are blinking and the green lights and the red lights like it's it's got its own circuit board inside this liquid okay but the thing about it is anyway the thing about it is it has no there's no no power to it okay there's no battery it's not plugged in and this stuff is still has circuitry to it it still has power to it so what the hell there's nothing that's powering it so what what could that be so i just want to advise you guys that there's something going on with these smartphones and uh, probably with the tablets too i don't know what this stuff is but i started noticing on the backs of your smartphones you notice you can see on this one there's see how there's hardly any bolts anymore i mean i don't have the screws in there um my wife just actually can't find them she i actually saw her actually taking them on one of my cameras and she doesn't know she didn't remember taking them and i'm like i saw you on one of my cameras taking them and then she goes oh I don't know what I did with them, and she can't find them. She didn't know what she did with them. I think she probably t threw them in the trash on purpose, to be honest with you. Because I, I know she's, I know she's a, she's a uh, shapeshifter. I already know that. So I'm not, you know, I'm just trying to like survive here, you know, to get through as much as I can, you know, protect my children is all I'm trying to do, you know. I'm gonna sleep on the couch, shit. But anyway, so. You can see though, there's screws that come in around this, but when you take this part off, I'm gonna take this part off and show you guys. When you take this part off, this is an LG, by the way. Hang on just a second, get this thing off here. Hang on, I'm gonna, I'm gonna pause it for just a second, take it off, hang on. Okay, okay so anyway guys, um, what I wanna show you here is you can see, I got that cover off. That's my son back there in the background. But anyway, um, there's like, there's screws here that you take off and that's how you get that other cover off. But from this point forward, there's really no way to get underneath this, okay, unless you pull off this glass and, and actually dig into it, okay? That's the only way you can get in that. Basically, it's completely sealed. Whatever that liquid is that's underneath this, it's, it's basically concealed underneath it. It's hidden underneath it. So there's actually no way to really get to it unless you break this glass and start peeling it apart. And um, I'm going to do that eventually because I'm going to take this apart, but I've got to get the information and the data off of here so that um, I have, you know, more evidence against these, uh, these hackers because eventually, you know, it's going to come down to it and I'm going to get them. I know it, you know, I know it because I'm, I, I don't lose a fight, man. I'm not losing this fight. So um, I want to get the data off of it first, but, um, I'm gonna pull the glass off and really take a good look at this stuff and find out what it is. And um, I'll let you guys know what it is. Um, it's 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 pretty crazy. I mean, you know what? I think I'm just gonna take it off right now. Hang on just a second, guys. Give me just a minute, I'm gonna pause it again. I'm gonna, I'm gonna break this thing open and take a look at this stuff. Okay. Well, come to find out, maybe I've just never taken these things apart and I just never knew there's not any black goo underneath it so I was actually wrong on the black goo it looks like it's black goo because of the screen but it's not it's actually it's some type of a liquid gel of some sort you kind of see it reflecting uh, the light there and it makes a rainbow color but I'm telling you when I was looking at it through a loop through that screen it was still there were, it was actually circuiting I could see the screen circuiting you know, without the phone being on, okay? And that's scary because I don't know what that is. I mean, it was actually working with no battery power and with no electricity, nothing, no power at all. So I don't know what that is. Um, I know I, I have heard about the stuff that they put underneath it. I guess it helps for the touching and stuff. I just never actually taken a, taken a smartphone apart to actually see it. Um, the thing that's kind of worrying some to me is that they actually they conceal it I mean it's really hard unless you break your phone and peel it apart like I just did there's no way to know what that what's underneath that I mean I've never tested that stuff it's like it's like an oil um, but you know what it's really weird because it kind of like it's really weird because it doesn't like 
it dries on your finger like instantly. You know, it's it's liquid, but when you when you put it on your finger, like look at my finger, my my finger absorbs it. I mean, you can see my it's not you can see I just did it wipe my finger on it, and there's like nothing on my finger. There's no, no see it's not wet. There's no wet spot on it. So it's like my skin absorbs it, that liquid, which is really weird. I don't know what that stuff is. So that's kind of a weird characteristic. <laughs> but um, anyway, when I, like I said, when I was looking at it with my, with my uh, loop and I was looking at it through the shaded glass here, you could actually see circuitry where the liquid was. And it was weird because you guys saw my phone. It looked like there was a lot more liquid in different spots. You know what I mean? And now looking at it, you don't see it anymore. It's like, what the hell happened to it? Um, hang on, I'm going to take it apart just a little bit more here. Okay, so anyway, um, I took it more apart. I didn't see it like hidden anywhere. Um, what is kind of strange though is if you look at these, these black pieces here, they kind of like reflect a rainbow like kind of design there. I'm not sure what that is. And that seems to be where the liquid was. I think that's where the stuff was that I was getting the uh, the movement or the like electricity signals from was this stuff right here. See how it's just on one side, you don't see it on the rest of it. It's just on that one part of it. I don't know what that is. Um, I'm just gonna look at it through the light here. My super bright light, of course. Hmm. I don't see anything coming out of it. That's really suspicious. I do see the dots, see the green and, and blue little dots and stuff. Those things were turning on and off. Like they were blinking. Like it was like a circuit. It was weird. And it was, it was blinking. They were blinking different times. They were like, they were consistently blinking like a circuit would. Like if you were, if you had LEDs on a circuit board, you know, and they were blinking, that's, that's what it looked like. And, um, I don't see them blinking now, which is kind of strange. So I'm not sure maybe when they're enclosed, somehow they do that. I don't know. I, it was it was really weird. I wish I could have showed you guys that. So anyway, it's my laser light. Let's see if it's doing it tonight. It's really, it's shooting something at me there. See that? It's not really shooting straight. See, with the camera phones, I don't get the laser effect like I would get with the other, other that other camera I had, which is kind of strange. I mean, you, you can see it kind of like, see how bright it gets? You can see that. See how it gets really freaking bright like that when it's up top? I mean, that's just freaking really fucking bright. You know what I mean? Like, brighter than normal. That's just not... I don't know if you guys do this with your smartphones. If you guys are getting the same kind of stuff, let me know. Because then I'll just... I'll kind of dismiss this this footage. But, I mean, you can see that there's that coiled light, light bulb. You know, that kind of follows this thing everywhere it goes. You know, if I move it over here... This is away from my face. You can see it here. It's kind of the right of my face here, about a foot. So it's almost like maybe it's tracking the almost the device itself. Maybe that's how they're hacking into the computers when I don't have Wi-Fi. You know that? Maybe they're using some type of a signal from these bulbs or something, and it shoots down at the device that's on, and that's how they're able to get into them. Because I was wondering how they, you know, I was thinking satellite, but... You know, this would make more sense if they're able to put some type of a shoot a signal out from this from our lights. They can almost hit every device that turns on. You know, it just has an attraction, some type of a magnetic attraction to the uh, the electronics of the device or any type of signal from the device, and it just zeroes in on it. That might explain why it has so many things shooting out. Like you can kind of see those little looks like flares like coming out from it. You know what I mean? I don't know. I'm just speculating. I don't know, guys. You know, I've showed you the stuff. I'm not no scientist, and I sure as hell don't know know what's happening here. I don't know what this stuff is. I'll try to get as close as I can. See what happens. Wow, look at that. So you see the coiled coiled bulb there when I get really close. That's what it looks like with the naked eye almost. It's a little bit brighter with the naked eye, but on this, I mean, it just gets super bright when you get further away. It's just like, I mean, that camera flare on that, that's... That's way too much. I don't know what that is, guys. Anyway, back to the other thing. So, 
anyway so i just thought i'd throw this out i mean i don't know what this stuff is guys i know that there's something going on with the smartphones i mean there's they're doing something because there's flashes of light that come out from your smartphone i don't know if you guys have had that where you guys are on a website and you just get this flash of light that comes out at you and if you if you like look at your smartphone in like the dark and use it in the dark you know you'll actually see the you can actually see it manifesting out like almost reaching like a hand out to your, towards your face. I mean, it's really weird. You just see this light source that's kind of reaching at your face. So take your smartphone, go in the dark, and like kind of have a mirror there and just kind of look at it, and you'll kind of see it coming out. It's really strange. But I know that there's weird flashings of light that actually shoot out at you sometimes when you're switching to different websites. And I always wonder, what the hell is that, you know? It's almost like a you know an instant flash in your face, and it's like, what are they shooting? Is there something shooting out at your face or something? Uh, it makes me wonder because there's just so much mind control going on with, you know, so many people asleep with everything that's happening. Our constitution's gone. You know, everything that's happening, it's just it's almost right in their face and they still don't see it. You know what I mean? It's like, it just really makes you wonder, you know, what's keeping these people hypnotized and uh, it could be something to do with the stuff that's, you know, underneath these screens. I don't know. So just thought I'd point that out at you guys tonight and give you a quick look underneath the smartphone. I don't know if you guys have ever done it. Now you kind of know. Um, might do some more testing on it. If I come up with something that's uh, a little more credible, I'll let you guys know what I find. So um, anyway, appreciate you guys tuning in again. I know I've been shooting some videos out lately. Uh, appreciate all the comments and um, even the negative ones, you know, I mean, I don't mind skeptical people, man. I, I want to hear both sides, you know, I mean, I don't know if it's exactly happening. I'm just, I'm pointing out things that are happening that don't look normal to me. So, you know, I know it's not mental illness. I know the light's not doing it because I'm mentally ill. So there's something else that's happening. I just don't know what it is. So anyway, you guys have yourselves a great night. Um, to you TIs, man, I just hang in there, guys. I know, I know we're all alone, but we're together if you think about it, you know, in spirit. So you guys just hang in there. And I know, I know it's, I know Yashua's coming, man. He's going to save us all, dude. He's going to show these people what's up. You're going to see. So just hang in there and keep, keep fighting the good fight. You guys have a good night. Heavy tea, I'm out.